Today's story, The House of Horror. This is the gorilla house here. Yeah. What about the watchman? There's only two of them in the whole zoo this time of night. They won't be around here for an hour. And this is the screwiest job we ever done. Putting a snatch on a gorilla. Why does he want the gorilla? Is he going to terrorize the city or what? I never asked no questions on a job. And this is a job, so let's get at it. There's the cage over there. And that's him. That's the gorilla. Got that collar for him? Yeah, right here. Give me it. I'm going to pour some on this rag. Put the rag on a pole and slam it in the gorilla's snoot. Keep away, though. This stuff is dynamite. Okay. Now, take a whiff of this, big boy. Looks like that'll do the job. Hey, sounds, sounds like he's passing out. All right, open that cage. I'm going in. Hey, wait, Mac. Open it up. This will take about one minute. Hey, hey, take it easy, big boy. Hey, Mac. Mac, are you all right? Shut up, you fool. All right, now come in here. Hey. In the cage? It's all right. He's passed out now. Come on, come on. Help me move. Okay, if you say so, but I don't like it. Hey. He ain't exactly no baby. No. All right. Here, let's try and haul him out. All right. Let's go. Oh. Ah. Heavy. Uh, anybody in here? Someone's coming. See what you're yelling, did? Uh. Stay where you are, bud. Get that flashlight out of my eyes. Hey. What are you doing? The gorilla. You're taking the gorilla out of here. You figured that one out in a hurry. Well, you can't do that. I'll... You'll call for nobody. Come on, Eddie. Let's get this gorilla in the van, quick. Then, Margo, according to the version I read, the men were seen hauling the gorilla to a truck. That's how they made the getaway. And what about the keeper in the zoo that discovered them, Lamont? Dead when they found him. Two bullet holes through the head. Oh, no. Excuse me, but could I protrude myself into the conversation? Could I hate? Why, certainly, Shrevey. This is your cab. What's on your mind? Well, about this here now case of the missing gorilla. Yeah? Well, uh, just this morning, I'm talking it over with my friend and acquaintance of whom you have heard me talk. Big Charlie Hay. And what did your friend and acquaintance, Big Charlie Hay, have to say? Well, he's no more than most of us about what could have happened on account of he knows a fellow who owns a monkey. Oh, that's very interesting. We're getting warm, Lamar. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Them dumb pedestrians. Well, where am I? Well, Big Charlie is knowing a fellow who owned a monkey. Correct. Now, according to Big Charlie, he says it's according to the fellow who owns the monkey, this here now gorilla, who was just an overgrown monkey after all, Maybe he just spoke out of the zoo or by himself. Oh, uh, this is Big Charlie's theory? Yeah. He says the monkey fella says that all the makes is born wanderers. So Big Charlie figures that this here gorilla got sick of the zoo and opened the cage in Scranton. Hey? Oh. You mean the gorilla drove the truck away, huh? Well, he could have had a confederate. Oh, Shrevey, how does Big Charlie explain the keeper being shot and killed? Well, to tell you the truth, Miss Lane, that stumps him. He never heard of a gorilla carrying no gun. No, uh, not without a permit. Oh, not without a permit. <laughs> hey, you're kidding me, Mr. <laughs> Shrevey. <laughs> well, Shrevey, I'm afraid that your friend Big Charlie's barking up the wrong tree this time. Yeah, he's just a dreamer, I guess. Oh, Shrevey, will you stop here, please? Sure, sure. Hey, what's the idea, Margo? I thought I was taking you to the country for lunch. Well, you're taking me to lunch, Lamont, but not to the country. Oh, now, wait a minute. Not this place. Why not? Oh, I hate tea rooms, Margo. Especially one that's called ye oldy and quainty gypsy tea room. Oh, but Lamont, they tell wonderful fortunes in there. I don't care, Margo. This is one time I'm going to be firm. I definitely and absolutely am not going into that tea room. Some more tea, Lamont. Huh? Oh, uh, no. No, thanks. Lamont, you're not paying any attention to what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Margo. I, I've been doing some unconscious eavesdropping. What do you mean? There's a very interesting fortune being told in the next booth. Listen. By the car that you have lost something. Is this not true, me? Yes. Yes, I have. Uh, a piece of jewelry. Of course. It was in the form of... Uh, it was a necklace. Uh, the fair young lady has lost a necklace. The cards tell me where the necklace can be found. Really? Where? Wait. I must consult the crystal. Shop. 
Up are many animals. They are dead animals. Soft to look alive. Attack them, Joe. That's it. Inside that shop, there are many more animals. One of these is a giant stuffed gorilla. In the mouth of that gorilla, in the mouth, your necklace will be found. Where is this place? I will write down the address. Oh, thank you. You'll never know how great I am to you for telling me. Right. All right. Oh, thank you so much. I'll go there. I'll go there at once. Thank you. Oh, you see. The fair young lady is very generous. Don't forget. In the mouth of the gorilla, you find your neck. Oh, I won't forget. Goodbye. Arthur? Margot, I'll tell your that taxidermy shop Can sounds very interesting. You mean you like stuffed gorillas? No, but considering the events of last night at the zoo, it is a coincidence to learn of someone who has such an interest in the beast. <laughs> Yes, sir. Hey, I'm a... Uh, thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Well, who is this missing socialite, Lamont? Oh, probably some publicity seeking it. Margot, look. What? Look at this picture. By Lamont. It's the girl we saw in the tea room. Yes, listen to this. Doris Mona, missing since Monday afternoon. No clues to her appearance. Or disappearance, rather. Found. On Monday? That was the day we saw her. Oh, yes. Say, that fortune teller. Do you suppose she would know anything about this thing? I have an idea she might. Yes. Yes, I think it would be very worthwhile paying a call on her as the shadow. Yes, of course, dear. 
you please tell sure that time is very precious. If you want your ring, you must go for it right away. This very night. <laughs>
My machine, the current has failed. <laughs> what was that? Have I spoiled your plan, Professor Fielding? Huh? Shadow. Yes, Madame Santo. I warned you that you'd hear from me again. Who is this talking? I see no one. It is the shadow. He's invisible, Professor. You cannot see him. Why is he here? I have come to learn of your experiment. And it appears that I arrived just in time. Did, did you tell this voice where we were, Madame Santo? No, no. But how did you know him? He came to my quarters last night. I trusted you. Now you tricked me. Trying to ruin my experiment. That is not true, I swear it. Now, Madame Santo, you know you told me to come here. No. Don't you remember that you promised that we would learn the secret and profit by it ourselves? No, that is a lie. Don't you believe him, Professor, please? So you are going to reap the harvest of my years of labor. Steal my secret and then dispose of me. That is not so. He lies. I he have lies. a way of dealing with those who betray my trust. Professor. Professor. Put down that knife. This is to be the survival of the fittest. I'm going to be the one who survives. Please, help me. Don't keep him away from me. I do not fear him. He's only a voice. You are flesh and blood. I can deal with you. Oh. Leave her alone, Professor Dealing. Leave out of this. I will open the cage. If you don't keep away, I will open the cage. I will free the gorilla. You wouldn't dare. You are more afraid of him than you are of me. I am warning you. Keep away or I will open it. Don't Mr. open Mr. the cage, you fool. I told you I would do it. I told you. She doesn't remember any of the gory details of the gorilla killing Madame Santo and Professor Fielding. That drug that they'd given her saved her that unpleasant memory. Good. Well, I went to the shop with the police this morning. You'll be happy to learn that Commissioner Weston ordered that infernal machine of Fielding is destroyed. Oh, I hope they destroy the whole shop. I don't want to see any more animals for the next few weeks. In fact, right now, I'd even hesitate to look at a stuffed chicken. (laughs) 